We're now at the point of our bumper installation where we need to wire up the rear camera. I didn't really touch on that in our other GX video, so I figured we'd run over it today. <laughs> Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. So what we've done is trace the wire through the accordion cable in the rear door um, into the quarter panel here and then down. Uh, in the instructions for uh, in the instructions from the manufacturer, they have you pull out this whole interior panel. I had better luck um, using a, a pokey stick up through the, the grommet in the bottom and uh, grabbing it from the inside through where the power port is. Once we've chased our wire out the bottom and covered it in our convoluted tubing, we always want to make sure we give ourselves enough slack here. So we've got a fair bit kind of tucks in that corner. So that should be good to go. There's no strain on it and we have a little extra tucked up inside. Um, I traced it up through here. I like how they gave us the little holes. It gives us good places to put zip ties on. So of course, flush cuts. If you don't know what flush cuts are, everybody knows what diagonal cutters are, but these are diagonal cutters. However, on the back side, they're single bevel ground. So they're flat on the back side. And if you don't use these on zip ties in my shop, you're fired. I've been fired many times. So we have regular diagonal cutting. See how they're a double bevel? They're cut on the back, they're ground on the back side and on the front side, as opposed to the single bevel. Uh, these say plastic and soft wire only, and they are they are right about that. Uh, these are 30 bucks at Harbor Freight, and I will tell you they are pretty damn good. Pretty good. Damn good. You guys look at these right here. You see how that's nice and flat and you're not going to catch your finger on it. This is what happens even as doing as best a job as you can. See this little barb right here? That will cut the snot out of you. And of course it never fails. There's always that one guy that'll do that. Yeah. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to band-aid up my arms. So anyways, now that we've touched on that, let's swing our apparatus around here so you guys can see. We've traced it through our spare tire carrier and we're going to assemble this portion of the program. We have already swapped our camera over. This is the factory camera. It was originally located here and now we got it in this nice little enclosure. Uh, when you buy the kit from Victory, you're gonna get two different backing plates uh, depending upon the model number. For the early GX460, 2010 through 13, uh, they have a different camera than the 14 and ups do. What we wanna do is leave ourselves enough room here. So what I would do is run this about here and then probably add about three inches or so. I am confident chopping it about right there. So we got four colors. We got red, white, black, brown. So red, white, black, and brown. The green and gray are for your license plate lamps. Um, I'm sure it is in your state, but in my state, we have to have a license plate lamps. So, luckily, we're provided with this cool little LED one with these little bitty wires that are a pain to work with. But that's what we got. All right, so we're gonna make these connections and I will show you guys how to do that. Factory Toyota stuff, the shielding on it, or the, the jacket on it is really kind of hard coated and it's, it's slick, um, so, on the Toyota stuff, I usually will, if I need a small spot, I'll just take like a razor blade and just kind of roll it under my thumb. Uh, so that's a really good way to do that. Um, but these 
ones you get right here, they go down to 26 gauge. So this is in your, your Lowe's, your Home Depot, your Menards, that kind of stuff. Uh, those little guys right there. Guys, I've been finding these for like 16 bucks, 16, 17 dollars, less than 20 uh, at all the big tool places. And they are for stranded, yeah, 10 through 20. Uh, but the 20s aren't quite tight enough for the factory Toyota wiring I've found. Uh, but I really like the way these are ground and I like having the needle nose on the front side. So I'm, those are, those are kind of my go-tos these days. I like having the little finger. If you guys can, can get yourself one of those. This heat gun did not have it. We turn our heat gun on. These are referred to as a, a solder sleeve, solder sleeve. They have worked out really well for, for doing quick and easy connections like this, uh, especially these smaller wires because they have the solder built into them. Uh, if you got a heat gun, they're pretty quick. Now we have a camera. And what we should probably do before we seal this up is uh, plug her in and stick it in reverse and see if it works. It's uh, upside down. What? It's upside down. It's upside down? Well, that's interesting. Okay. That's not just crazy. No, it, it's upside down. I can see it through the back glass. The uh, table is flipped. The table's hanging from the ceiling? Yeah. All right, so they've got this pattern cut out where it'll go either way. So, simple mistake. No worries. Sorry, my mistake. Alrighty. So, the next part is our little reverse light, or our little uh, license plate light. And away we go. Bless you, boys. Mm. So if I were to have to change my spare tire right now, I'd have to cut that. What if I don't have a cutter with me? Of course, I mean, I wouldn't be a proper off-road guy. if I. Yeah, you wouldn't be an there. overlander if you didn't have a pocket knife. <laughs> or seven. Or a hatchet. Spare tire. You guys can see that spare tire sitting right there. There's a reason it's not on here. I bet you want to know what that is. The reason it's not on here is um, Victory sends SAE half inch 20 lug nuts or uh, wheel studs to mount your spare on, which is fine because they also send the accompanying lug nuts. However, these wheels don't allow you to be able to put a socket inside them. You have to have fancy spline nuts, yeah. which our customer thought ahead on. And he ordered them in M12 by 1.5. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find some, hopefully, there there is either uh, spline lug nuts, which I know they're out there. We can go get them from our local discount tire or whatever. Uh, but the problem there is then he's got to keep two different kinds two of keys. spline keys. Uh, and... If you don't have different kinds of lug nuts and they're just the wrong thread pitch, when you're changing your spare over, you might pick up the wrong one and try to jam on the wrong long lug nut and never be able to get one wheel off without having problems. And I'm not here to make more problems for you people. I'm here to solve problems for you people. So. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Huh? I, I mean the people on the other side of that camera. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, so what I'm saying is um, these wheel studs that are in here are going to have to come out and I've got to find a M12 by 1.5 which is the same pattern as Forerunner and J12 
GX and whatnot. Um, wheel stud in a similar ish length. Um, but the key is this laser cut plate has holes in it for the knurling that's on here that we've already put a stud into. Several bad puns later. So it's fantastic. Let me grab a hat so I don't look like such a ding dong. Alrighty, so we have got our lug nuts changed out. I just was able to get a um, Dorman lug nut from the local O'Reilly's to get those changed. So that way we can use our metric lug nuts that fit. It's a, it was a common part, it was in stock. So good job there. Uh, the rear bumper is essentially finished up at this point. Uh, 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 yes, Mr. Young. Yes, sir. Um, 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 my mama told me that that you did a, a, a black GX just like this not too long ago and, and his wheel fit. So why doesn't this wheel fit? Uh, the reason his wheel fit is his had TRD wheels and the hole where the lug nut goes is designed for the washer head OEM wheel or OEM lug nut, not for super skinny boy um, fancy lug nuts like these SCS wheels, which by the way, I like the SCS wheels. However, if you've noticed, um, we tend to be slightly more loyal to another brand. <laughs> by the way, Steve, uh, I really like your hat. Oh, well, you know, I appreciate that. A little dirty, but that means, I don't know what that means other than I'm just dirty. We working. All right, so it's taken 40 minutes to make um, six connections. No, it takes time because we're also making these videos for you guys. That's and, right. you know, we want you to like us. We want you to love us. Really, we just we just want to be loved so bad. We want you to like. We want you to subscribe. And share with your friends. And, and yeah, so, no, please. Uh, it takes 40 minutes because we're making these things for y'all. And uh, also working. All right, guys, if you like what we do here, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we've got exclusive content coming for that. And if there is anything I can do for you, whether it be parts or fabrication or full installs or full builds, please feel free to reach out. Shoot me an email, cody at codycrafted.com. Check out the website. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Like, share, subscribe. Smash the bell.